What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack, his name is Kiba, and welcome back to a brand new video. And today's video, I'm going to be trying gouache again. Yeah, I'm super creative. Okay. Every video, every video. All right, so yeah, my, my gouache addiction is getting a little bit serious now. I love them. So, for those of you who are new around here, at the beginning of this year, I discovered gouache for the first ever time and created my first serious piece of artwork in a long time. And then I did it again. And then I did a comparison video. <laughs> Now I thought that was enough, but after browsing the comment section of those videos, I found that many of you wanted me to try jelly gouache. Whatever that is. So I got some. In pink. Because it's pretty. So before we dive into these for the first time, Kiba! Yes, my very own custom designed Kiba plushies are now available for 16 days. That's it. Never to be made ever again but they have to hit 200 sales to go into production. These are an absolutely incredible way to support what we do over here on this channel while also getting a little piece of original artwork created by me. Now there's gonna be a link down below in the description as well as the pinned comment of this video to the Keeper plushies. And remember, each one of these plushies, when you get them, will come with a little tag and a unique edition number. They're super cool. Oh, and I don't think Kiba has met his character plush just yet. Hmm. Oh, Kiba! So dark. So dirty. Right. He is ready. For you. Begin. D don't eat it. K Kiba! He's destroying him. Uh, hello? Hey! <laughs> Kiba! Kiba! There he is. Kiba, okay, can I have it back, please? Can I have it? Mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's so slimy. Kiba, hey. <laughs> what the fuck is that? And why is gouache crossed? Oh, this will be fun. Anyway, here is the Himmy gouache set. Now, I'm actually really hoping this is gouache in here because that's got me a little bit worried, to be honest. And by the way, contrary to what this video may say, this part of the video is recorded before the intro. So I haven't held this yet. Actually, what happened was I unboxed this from the mailing slip, slid it on the desk and haven't touched it. So I don't actually know anything about this. I've not looked inside of it. I don't know what to expect and Oh my, ah, what's this, a game of Wordle? Okay, so yeah, I really don't know what is inside this, what to expect from these paints at all. So we're gonna crack this open now. There's no seal on it or anything, so I think I could just... I, I thought I broke it. <laughs> Wait, let me get a, a side shot for this. All right, just, there we go, I think. Okay. I <laughs> didn't notice there was a... How did that open? Okay. Hang on, it actually comes with a... I've been using... Oh gosh, I just threw everything. Oh no. Just threw bits of... This is terrible. What am I doing? Right, I've been using this for... Ever. Because I'm not a painter and... Don't judge me. Guts, it went everywhere again. All right, so this actually comes with a palette, which is... Whoa. <laughs> There's little pick... Hang on, it comes with brushes... What is that? There is a bird wearing legs. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know what's going on with that. What is happening there? Is that like a person on the end or I don't... What is... Is that a horse? I thought it was a cricket, but there's like a horse head and a... Right, gonna... Who is it really like... Oh, it's... Oh no, it is soft. <sighs> gonna get into this. Wait, what color is this? Is that purple? Get out. You yeah, know, so I thought that this was just the color of the plastic, but no, that's the color of the paint. You get a lot of paint in these. That's, that's nice. So do I have to open all of these? How do they stay? Are they gonna dry? Well, I guess if they're like gouache, they're gonna, I can't get. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. The color that I'm gonna open first will be randomly selected by shaking it. You. 
Come on! I don't know if I should do this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch it. Oh, it really is like jelly. It kind of spongy. Right, now, opening each and every one of these paints was no fun. Even just getting them out of the slots was not easy. There was also this strange oil stuff getting on my fingers. Felt really weird. I can't open this last one. This is not the last one, there's another one. My fingers are slippery and sticky. I don't know how they're slippery and sticky. How does that happen? It's leaking all over me again. Look at my... Give me! I can't open this one, I can't do it. It's not open. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. That entire ordeal was unbelievable. That was ridiculous. It took me over nearly 15 minutes to open up all of these paints. That was, wow. I'm covered in goo as well. I, I don't know what this stuff is. It's all over me. Was it worth the struggles? Let's find out. Dish on paper. I don't know what to so, for the first test, I figured to celebrate the release of Kiba's plushie, I would do a couple of sketches today. The first one being a quick Kiba sketch of the schematic to the design of the plushie. So we're gonna cartoon him up a little bit, make him look quite cute, sit him in a little scenery. I don't know. We'll um, see where we go with this one. Make his head a little bit bigger. All right, so rough keyboard done. Just gonna get a paintbrush out. Oh, oh. I was gonna say I wanted to avoid mixing, but we got a palette. We might as well use it. Eh, that's a keyboardish color. All right, so I'm gonna start this, I think, with a watercolor style base and then go from there. So as I'm doing this quite thin, the pencil marks are gonna still show through, but that's okay because this is just for me to get an idea of uh, where I want my colors to be and how I want them to look. I, I'll be honest with you though, I, it doesn't feel really any different to using normal gouache. Like I genuinely cannot tell you that there is an immediate difference. I guess maybe the difference is in the way that they are placed in the pot, the way that they are not in a tube. I don't know if it's standard for all gouache to be in a tube. Uh, maybe them being, you know, in a palette is something original and maybe that's unique to jelly gouache. I'm not gonna lie to you, I actually kind of like it with all of the pencil marks showing through. I think for this one, I'm gonna leave it like this and sort of work in a watercolor style because I, yeah, I like that. I'm just gonna try and clean up the edges a little bit. I've never, I've never done this before. I, I actually, actually really like it. That's, that's kind of cool. Where's all my paint gone? I've done two feet, what? Look at, where's it going? But anyway, in the previous videos, I was saying the reason I was transferring that line work was because of this. I, I mean, it just looks awful. You can see how the pencil lines are pretty much showing through completely due to the fact that I'm not doing, you know, really thick coverage. But in any case, it's changing the color of the paints. It's making the, where is my paint going? I got no paint left. I, oh my gosh. Like every time I put paint down, look, it's just, and gone. Da, 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 da. Ah, wait a second. Black on my brush. What is this palette? Slight confession, if you don't know already, I'm not a painter. Like I only just discovered gouache like three weeks ago. This relationship that I'm developing with gouache is starting to get a little bit serious now. I'm gonna use just a little bit of thick paint because I just wanna get the color there. Even though this was supposed to be a watercolor style, uh, I think, I can get away with it just a little bit. All right, so I've never tried this before and I don't know if it works or if you're supposed to do it first, but I'm gonna try and ink over this. I've given it a little bit of time to dry, so hopefully I don't ruin this pen because it's quite expensive. Wow. Ooh. It doesn't feel nice. Oh, it's like working with chalk. But that being said, 
I'm doing it very quick and very rough, as you can see, because I kind of like the, um, the disorganization. Is that a word? You know what I mean? Like, it looks kind of cute like this. I think one of my favorite things when I see people using watercolor is that their inking doesn't match their line work. Like, it's kind of two separate entities and they just kind of bring it together in a way. You know what I mean? So, so like the hair, for example, like say like these strands. So these strands are going off in this direction, but like some artists will just go like this. And it looks great. <laughs> like, what? How does that even make sense? It, 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 yes. I'm so happy I discovered gouache, honestly. This is like one of the best things I've ever used. Yeah, no, I, I mean, look at this. Th this didn't take me long at all. I was just very quickly rushing through this and doing that. And yeah. <laughs> This is so much fun, I can't. All right, so this time I wanna do a different thing. I'm gonna try using these in the way that I use normal gouache and see if they work exactly the same way. My guess is they probably do, but eh, for fun, why not? All right then, so for the semi-serious but also real attempt at using jelly, I'm Batman. <laughs> hey, the brand new Batman movie releases soon. I am super excited. I just have to draw him. I need to draw him. Why? Because I'm Batman. <laughs> now then, this drawing today will be a not so serious drawing, but a baseline to paint over. I don't want to create every little detail and go in for any level of realism, hence why I'm drawing directly to the watercolor paper, because I instead want to stay true to gouache by enjoying the paints. So, I've kept the drawing as basic and simplistic as I plan to color it. And immediately, right off the bat... <laughs> oh boy, I could tell this was going to be different. So on the large area, I realized why it's called jelly gouache, because it's not easy to move around at all. Now to give it the benefit of the doubt, this is possibly due to the brushes provided. So later I will switch to my regular brush, but right now it really is painful to move about. Now, for this painting, I didn't want it to be a too serious attempt as one, I'm not about that serious art life and two, this video has already been long enough and I'm sure many people have lives to live. Sorry. <laughs> so I gave myself a four hour time limit on this, which isn't a challenge, it's more of a rough limit guide restriction. This would allow me enough time to get a good idea of them, but also put me under a little bit of pressure so I get to be a little bit more carefree and reckless with this painting, which I like. I dove into this one the same way I would with standard gouache, attempting to layer the base before moving into the thick details. Nah. Okay, so what I really tried here was to take advantage of the thickness of this paint. I used the mid-tone as the base layer, then later added those lights and darks. The beauty of gouache is... I don't care. I have absolutely zero worry or fear. I can put whatever I want, whatever is in my mind, down, and if it works, I keep it. If not... By simply using more water, I can reactivate, remix the paints direct on the paper. Or by limiting the water, I can create beautiful 3D textures and literally lift the art from the paper. Now I can't stress this enough, the fact I have no fear, no concerns over perfection elevates me above myself, above the art. It's almost like being drunk. I'm in a state of complete peace. And the fact that I'm only using two colors, well, that's pretty nice too. But seriously, the lack of focus or desire to achieve perfect results, 
while also understanding the forgiving nature and unique style of gouache is enough to make a stress-free, comfortable environment. So as you can see, I haven't been focused on minor details, instead working in a way that uses a benefit of contrasts. Having the darkest darks and the lightest lights, I can create illusion. I can create art that, from a distance, will catch the eye, will create depth and intrigue. But at closer inspection, well, just don't look too close. So there we have it everyone, the results of my first ever time using Jelly Gouache. Do you like it? Do you love it? Let me know in the comment section down below. The Batman. The Puppy. I'll say this, the results despite being fast and a first time experience are... I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love this. As I said throughout this video, I didn't even attempt any level of control. I let any mistakes sit and I added whatever I wanted, wherever I wanted, and whenever I felt like it. Because to me, that is what gouache is about. It enables me to have fun and to be as carefree as I possibly can be. To be honest, not only is that what gouache is about, but that is what art is about. Having fun being carefree and enjoying it. You know, I can really see these paints being more than what I experienced here today. In the hands of a true experienced professional, they could be exactly what you want them to be. Or maybe like me, you want a stress-free, relaxing environment and a product that really just allows you to be free and to have fun. If that's the case, these will do it. Well, unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. This has been an amazing experience. Do I think they are better than standard gouache? I don't know. It's really hard to tell the difference. But I do think that these give you great value for money. So they're a pretty good product and I do enjoy them. Maybe not as much as standard gouache, but I did enjoy using them. I think most of my worries came from whether they're gonna dry out or not because they've kind of... Nope, still wet. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. Bruh, 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 bruh. Ruff. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. My name has been ADC Art Attack. His name, that trouble out there, is Kiba. And I look forward to seeing you all again in the next video. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you then. Take care. Bye bye. Was that actually. Did I actually just do a somewhat serious outro? What?